Hey guys, I have a little bit of time this morning, so I'm gonna share with you guys what I bring with me to school when I'm there for like 13 hours. Um, oh, that's weird. Normally I'm like running late, but today for some reason I woke up earlier than usual. So, and like I didn't feel as tired, so like I got out of bed earlier than usual. Cause you know you wake up, but then your get out of bed time is way different. And I'm also wearing workout clothes because my first class requires me to work out. Literally, I like go sit on the bike in the gym and like work out for an hour. And then I have to go like eat half of my breakfast and then go to yoga, which is another one of my classes. And then eat breakfast and then go to French. I don't know why I mind blank anyway. Um, this is my lunch box. My cooler thing and V-Jet is whatever. That's my dad's name. Um, so in here I have two of these ice packs that my brother has because I don't know, he's always prepared with a lot of random things. So I have the, two of these ice packs which make it, make it cold every day and I swear like my stuff actually freezes. So here I have some overnight oats and these oats are freaking awesome because let me tell you they are so good and I'm going to talk about them when I eat them later. And then I have an apple which I already washed and this is going to be a snack because I find myself really hungry during my last class but I don't really have time to eat a meal so I need to have like a good snack and this is perfect. And this is a little container of ketchup. And then here we have a head of organic romaine lettuce that I already washed and prepped last night. And then I have water. This I fill up like two or three times a day. And then, so the overnight oats are my breakfast. And then for lunch, oh my gosh, please close. There we go. And then for lunch, I'm going to bring these potatoes with me. I'm probably just gonna have one or two, but my mom baked these last night for me and they're so perfect, but I don't wanna put them in the cooler because the cooler would then make it cold. So if I leave it in my 100 degree fucking car, then it'll stay warm. I'm thinking, you guys. I'm thinking. And then, what else did I want to share? I don't know, but it's 6.26 right now, and I normally leave at about 6.30, and I have so much time. Guys, I can't believe I'm finished early. Oh, I also wanted to show you that there's going, like in my French class, we have like occasionally a little party where people bring snacks and stuff, but they have to be French. And I was like, okay, I'm probably not gonna bring anything because a lot of like things that are French that are on the list that she gave us to bring, like that we had to sign up for, are not vegan. Like they're cookies, croissants, there's like, I don't know, like truffles and shit like that. And that's not vegan, right? So I was like, okay, I just volunteered to bring orangina however you pronounce that, French people. <laughs> um, but then when I was at Trader Joe's, I found these thingies, they're cafe twists. And you know, I wasn't sure if they were like of Italian or French origin, but I read the description and it said, ooh la la, and that's normally French, right? And it's vegan and low sodium, but it, it's fried. It's like basically fried oil, fried, uh, flour and fried sugar. I don't know. I'm having such a hard time speaking So I'm gonna bring this into class and just see like if people like it Then I'll just bring it next time and then I'll tell the teacher because she's like super into health and she's like Oh, you know, I love to be vegan, but I love cheese and eggs too much But she's actually very open to it and she sends me um, She sends me vegan recipes, which are super cute and I really want to try making some of them. So thank you, madame and oh yeah let me just show you all the things that i have to bring with me to school every day so along with that cooler right there i gotta bring this backpack right here which has my computer my books this french book and then my history book and then this which is has which has my um change of clothes and a workout towel and like lotion and stuff for me to change after I work out and yeah that's it and my kitchen is a mess because my brother has like a meal prep catering service and okay this 
I'm sorry, just pretend this is not here, okay? Anyway, he has a meal prep catering service and he preps in like this kitchen occasionally even though he goes to like an outside kitchen to do so. I don't know why I have so much energy right now. Wait, does anybody else think this is hilarious? Cause I think it's so funny how much shit I have to bring with me to school. Oh my goodness gracious. Uh, okay. Let's try to get in the car now. Here we go. Oh yeah, and I have a yoga mat over there. Like, I literally live inside my car Tuesday through Thursday, which isn't even bad because it's only three days. But, okay, okay. Okay, life update. Stupid me forgot to bring utensils and I also forgot to bring that French stuff. So I didn't even you know, need to buy it last night because I forgot to bring it. So there goes that. But I had to go get a fork because that was like the closest thing. But anyway, here is my overnight oats. And um, I'll talk about it later because I'm actually super late. Well, I have like four minutes to eat as much as I can. Mmm. Mmm, God, it's so good. And I'm sweating because it's fucking hot. And I like power walked up a hill to get here. But this, you guys, overnight oats. So basically, you just do a one-to-one -one ratio of oats to liquid. And usually people like using almond milk or water, but... I blended my... I made my milk with one banana, one cup of water. And then I put in a tablespoon of carob powder to make it chocolatey. And then with the oats, I just added like a tablespoon of chia seeds, and then I put cacao nibs on the top. Mm hmm Oh my gosh, I'm sweating through my shirt. This is so embarrassing. Mm. I'm so sweaty, you guys. Okay, hallelujah, I found a spoon. And I'm eating the rest of my oats. I managed to eat about half of it before class. And yoga was cool. Except, so I'm wearing this shirt right now. And it's from naked.com. And like, it's a medium because the small I felt was too tight on me. But now I kind of regret it because the medium ended up stretching out. Like, Sorry, um, I like moved around and like twisted around. I was so paranoid that my nipple was gonna slip out of my shirt, like on the side, cause it's like so close, you know? And also these pants that I'm wearing aren't even yoga type pants. And I totally forgot that I had to wear yoga pant clothes, but good thing, it, like I always wear comfy clothes anyway. So they were not like as stretchy as yoga pants or elephant pants, but whatever. So yeah, this is like really good. And this is my car, you know. It's where I eat most of my food. The cafeteria is too loud. But then I can't eat in the library where I would like to eat because I eat pretty quiet and I like a quiet place. And I'm adding more water to my oats because they're kind of thick and I like my stuff. I like my oats like slightly thin and soupy but a little thick, you know, like you can't see. It's like this consistency. A lot of people are like, oh, how do you balance school and being vegan, blah, blah, blah. You really just have to prepare, you know? Like, I prepare, well, I tried to prepare. Obviously, I wasn't that good at preparing because I didn't bring a spoon or fork or the stuff for French class that I was, that I bought yesterday for the French class and I forgot it at home. Well, you just have to prepare your food, think ahead, make a checklist, do your stuff, get stuff done. Like there's no excuse as to why you can't do it. I'm on campus for 13 hours and if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so it's lunchtime and I'm sitting. Where am I gonna put you? There we go. Okay, so it's lunchtime and I'm sitting in the back of my car. I'm already eating this baked potato that I brought. Remember, my mom baked me a bunch and I brought some. And I have this head of lettuce, and I have ketchup, and I'm gonna eat it. I watched Grey's Anatomy in here. Um, 
that I downloaded on my computer. And the reason why I'm eating in my car and not, you know, in the cafeteria is because my car is all the way across the campus from the cafeteria. So I would bring my stuff there, eat it there, and then come back and drop off the old Tupperware. Like, nah, I'm comfortable here, so I'm just gonna eat here and whatever. And yeah, like people are gonna walk by and hear me watch Grey's Anatomy and see me eating potatoes and lettuce, but you know what? There comes a point in your life when you just have to stop giving a fuck. Because if you keep caring about what other people think about you, you're never gonna do what you wanna do. So just do what you wanna do. They're only gonna think about you for like five seconds and if they see you again, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, there's that girl with the potato and lettuce. But you know what? Who cares? Like, it's not gonna change who you are. It's not gonna change who they are. And it doesn't really matter in their life. It's just an observation that they make. And if they think anything of it, that's their problem. It's not your problem. You do what you wanna do, girl or boy. Thank you. As you know, transfer residents traditionally do their first rotation with the chief of general surgery, which is- I'm starting to get really hot up in this bitch. All right, I finished this. And now it's time to go to the library, so I'll see you guys in three. No, wait, what time is it? 2.15? I'll see you in five hours. Oh my gosh. Do you guys want to hear a funny story? Well, you know what? If you don't want to hear a funny story, then you're already watching, so you're just going to have to hear it anyway. So we broke into little groups. And then we're basically done talking about whatever we need to talk about. It's like the end of class already. And then I was like, oh my gosh, can we just leave? I'm so ready to sleep. And then some girl was like, didn't you say that you were at school? Like you're on campus for 13 hours a day? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, how do you do it? Like, that's so crazy. Why? So I explained to her my situation. And then um, and she said, like wow how do you stay awake like don't you like you probably drink a lot of caffeine like a lot of coffee huh to keep you awake and i wanted to be like no honey it's the carbs and the sleep and the water but i was just like i just make sure i get enough sleep at night because you know it was already the end of the day i didn't want to go on a whole thing about carbs will make you fat carbs are awesome by the way i'm vegan this is why you know it was like the last three minutes of class and i was all ready to get up I was ready to get out of there. And then the second thing is, during our break, I ate an apple. But it's funny that when you eat an apple, you're like eating a snack, right? To hold off your hunger. But then apples always make me hungry. Like I eat an apple and then I'm like, okay, now I'm just 10 times hungrier than when I was before I ate the apple. It's time to go home and eat dinner. So I'm gonna go do that. How creepy would it be if I like looked at my camera screen and then there was somebody sitting in the back here Like have you guys ever thought about that? I just thought about it right now because this thing here looked like a person and I got really freaked out But it's not a person. I'm pretty safe. I think wait. Let me check Yeah, there's no one back here. No one in the trunk. Okay, we're good. Okay I just got home and I'm gonna eat some of these well one of these crunchy crispy rice rollers These things, so good. You get Costco around you, definitely get a pack of these. So I put together this dinner real, real quick. And it's just some kidney beans and they're canned. Like I didn't cook them myself for you guys asking if I get my beans canned or if I cook them myself. I just get them canned, you know, it's easier. Just rinse them out, you're good. And I steamed some kale thing. Actually, my brother did. He steamed a lot for me, like, look over here. <laughs> I just asked him to steam me like a couple handfuls and then he steamed me so much But it's just like a kale slaw thing that he got From restaurant depot. So whatever and then potato and then you guys I made You guys I made the best sauce And it's this thingy right here and I'm gonna drizzle it on top and then I'm gonna devour it And then I'm gonna like, you know be sad because it's gone, but I can make more, you know So the sauce is equal parts tahini, mustard, and maple syrup. And then I stirred that all together. And then I added in a, about a little bit of soy sauce, just to, you know, add a little bit of umami, salty flavor in there. And it's amazing. It's amazing, you guys. It's so good. Like, you need to try it, okay? Okay, 
So I'm gonna drizzle this on top and then I'm gonna take an Instagram picture because I don't have a lot of good food photos to post on Instagram. Like I keep a little picture bank of food photos. Anyway, I need to do that right now. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna eat dinner and I'll check in with you guys after because you know I'm always gonna go for my dessert. If you have not considered, you know, like, oh my gosh, maybe I'll try this sauce. Like that looks really good. Here is your second sign from the universe to tell you that you need to make this sauce right here. Tahini, maple syrup, or you could use agave if you don't have maple syrup. Um, mustard and a little bit of soy sauce. Oh my gosh, like, oh. At first, I was like, eh, it's all right. I'm probably gonna end up eating this with ketchup instead. But then I like dipped, I actually like dipped this potato bit into it. And it's so good. It's like the perfect mixture of like, grounding fatty sweet a little acidic salty it's like everything your taste buds want mm. so fucking good for dessert i made myself a little itty bitty chocolate and ice cream this is probably like two and a half bananas or like two bananas i just wanted something sweet and cold and i'm gonna top it with this crisp rice cereal that i got from trader joe's that's like so good uh yay because you know i love my crunch i mean i don't want to just eat cereal i wanted to eat like something nice and cold that's probably everything that i'm eating today thank you guys so much for watching please like if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and mm, mm. Mm -hmm. try this mm. and try that mustard tahini maple soy sauce combination if you needed another sign that was your third sign